I'm I'm hoping, expecting Nebraska to get out fast because, as you said, it's a 10 a.m. Uh, 10 a.m. first serve for Oregon. It, it's pretty much 8 a.m. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure they've practiced early before, and I'm sure they've been in Louisville for a while. But still, you know, the body's got to get a little acclimated to that. If Nebraska can jump out on them early, kind of, kind of, you know, set the tone with their defense, I'm sure they'll they'll be able to cruise. Um, I don't see a sweep. Maybe four. Oregon sh- Oregon should get at least a set on Nebraska, but I, I'm 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 thinking Nebraska takes this one and then goes on to face Louisville. What uh, this is in Louisville, right? It is in the K at the KFC Yum Center. The Yum Center. Yum Center. Uh, Louisville, their time zone is still uh, central. Central. Yes. So it's still two hour difference for uh, for for Oregon, which hopefully plays in our favor a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, Rico, like I said, you've honestly taught me more about volleyball this year than I've ever paid attention to because I, I watch it. But just listen to the commentators. You break it down on your Twitter. So if you're not following Rico, Rico, what is your Twitter handle? Uh, at Radio Rico AC. At Radio Rico AC. If you want to keep up to date what's going on if you're at work, you can't watch it. At Radio Rico, Rico AC. AC. Definitely check out his Twitter feed. I'll be watching it on the, in the other room. Yeah. And tweeting out. You keep me posted on what's going on because I'll be watching the game, but I'm watching your tweets at the same time. I really became more conscientious of service errors because yeah, of you. That's, and so, we cannot do that against Oregon. So right that's wrong, a thing that – you know, especially a John Cook coach team, he takes pride in in serving and defense. Because that's, that's just sloppy. Those are two things service that service. that you know a John Cook coach team that that they will be elite at, serving and defense. So this year the service errors, especially early in the season, were kind of mind boggling. But it, again, it was part of the six two. You've got one of your middles back there serving. Uh, Becca Alec, the freshman at Waverly, well at Lincoln, went to Waverly High School, um, but. As the season has gone on, she's turned into a much better server. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, every once in a while, a, John Cook did mention that Nicklin Hames is healthy enough where they could run a 5-1, but the way that 6 2 has been going and the way that they're able to bring in all of their amazingly talented attackers, mm-hmm. they're going to keep running with the 6-2. Beck Alex is going to have to keep going back and serving. And, again, she's turned herself into a much better server as the season has gone on. But the service there is just, just an issue for Nebraska. And it it kind of bleeds over into the other team when that happens. You see the ball going to the net. All of a sudden, you're trying to, you know, oh, they just did that. Let me, you know, hit them, make this serve a little more difficult, hit them with an ace. All of a sudden, you served into the net. It bleeds over. You, you're, you're a teammate. You see it happen. Right. You're, you're focused too much on, all right, I just have to get this over. You serve it long. You serve it out of bounds. It, it just, it, it's just an issue that as long as they don't, you know, commit i mean this is easy to say as long as i don't commit more service errors than than the other team i have a lot of faith in nebraska winning this game nationally oregon's ranked number three no they I'm are sorry, no. they're number nine they're, they're number nine three seed in three the, seed in the yeah, tournament number nine. i was gonna say that seemed odd yeah okay there's only one not top four seed that made the sweet 16 and i believe that's houston so the thing i think they were a five so and the thing <laughs> in this shocking. tournament it's winter go home yep yep that's why you got to love the tournament time, man. I want to uh, go home. Rico, let me ask you this, man. You know, when I'm watching the games, and I've and I this is embarrassing for me to say, but because the last time I've been to a Husker volleyball game, I was in college. Uh, yeah. Same for you? Coliseum. I watch them all the time. Yeah. But the, the Coliseum, there was something very nostalgic about the Coliseum. Too, My wife Rico. used to go to the Coliseum when she was younger all the time. Oh, she oh they get it. that place rocking. She loved it. It was like the movie Hoosiers, though. I mean, it was, yeah. it was tightly compact in there, and... Uh, it was a blast watching volleyball back in some on the Coliseum and watching them play. But I still want you being up close, okay? And um, not that up close. We're all the way up in the corner. Up in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> We're all the way. But up I thought in Omaha, but and I'm, when they played, oh, when they played Creighton, I yeah. was right down there. I was yeah. right in the corner, yeah. and I had a new appreciation and respect. That's what I was going to ask those you. girls because when you know, I'm down in the corner, I'm I'm right there. You know, one of the one of the pin hitters is hitting it towards the corner. Lexi Rodriguez is just down there by her lonesome. The ball squirts through the, the the block, and she has I don't know point one seconds to react if the ball is too farther to her right. She gets there every time. She's the best. Of, she's she's the best libero in the in the nation. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. If she didn't get defensive player of the year in the Big Ten. She's the best in the nation. But it, just all of them, just yeah. all all volleyball players, the reaction time mm. and and the strength of which they hit those the volleyballs. It's too. just it's just crazy. And being down there for that match against Creighton, it gave me a newfound respect right. for for everything. Because first off, 
they're getting extremely high over like the 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 height that they get at the net the the power of the ball coming off of their hands and the fact that they're able to you know Alexia Rodriguez and Kenzie Knuckles uh Nicklin Hames uh Maddie Kubik when she's back there Whitney Lawrence like anybody that's in the back row that receives you know that digs that ball after after oh, a kill attempt man. and the fact that most of the time for Lexi when she gets it she puts it to the spot where Nicklin is able to set it up for her attackers in just a perfect, perfect location. I don't know how they even work on that, how you do that in that, you know, split second right. of it's hit. I locate it. I find it. I angle my arms in a way in which it'll go up, stay on our side and get to a point where Nicklin doesn't have to sprint across the court mm -hmm. to set it up for, for a Maddie cubic or whatever. Like it's wild. How cool is that name though for volleyball? Lindsay Knuckles. Kenzie Knuckles. Kenzie Knuckles. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> Kenzie Knuckles. It's the best. You about to get that ball hit right. <laughs> his, I if I see the ball like that coming at me, I'm ducking. I mean, one hundred percent. I'm ducking. I'm getting out the way. There ain't no. Uh, hey, yeah. you can hit that, bro. No. Well, I always laugh how hard they hit, and then they jump up to, to roof, 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 and you're yeah. just sitting there going. They take one right in the face, face, face. Yeah, I'm like, I, I don't want <laughs> this happened. I don't want no roofing. I want some. I want it's that. happened. <laughs> and even, you know, in the block, too, you get up there and it's just oh. smacking you in the forearm. And then, like, it'll just, like, bend your finger back, like, all that stuff. I'm yeah. like, how do you, how? Yeah. What is going on? I remember a football would come on my hands and um, Brooke Berenger would throw a tight ball. I mean, a hard ball. Frazier would throw you, like, cannons. Brooke Berenger would throw you cannons. Uh, ben Roots. Remember Ben Roots to transfer to KU? Oh, number six. He throws some cannons. I remember one time it was cold, though. And um, those are the worst. Oh my goodness, this is the worst. And time. Behringer got rest his soul, threw me a ball one time, and I literally in my head going, "I'm about to break every finger that I have." I'm not catching this. And that ball came in because if you didn't catch it, Coach Brown would. I mean, he'd be on you. Oof. You're going to get hit anyway, so catch the ball. <laughs> like, well, that's really not the philosophy I live by. You know? <laughs> but that ball came in, and I remember because you, know, you got to catch because if you, especially when it's cold, it hits your pads. It's really, you're really dropping. You're it. not catching that. So it's the ball rock. came in, and I got the ball right here, but my my little pinky finger, for some reason, hit that fart fart, fart first, and it, and I caught it. I, you know, when something hurts so bad, it's like stubbing your toe at night. It hurts so bad, nothing even comes out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's just like for two seconds. Yep, you just. <laughs> uh, I mean, it wouldn't even come out, and everybody said, "Ad, good catch." I said, "No, it was not a good catch. Not a good catch. I don't got a, I don't got a finger. It was good." So I can um, relate that to these ladies, and the ball's coming at them so fast, so quick. And still yet they dig that ball out in mm -hmm. the business, man. It's impressive, man. It's and impressive. even the times where they're, you know, they can't get the dig or or, or whatever. They they the way that they dodge the ball is crazy. Yeah. They're so quick. Their reaction time, I don't know. I, I would challenge anybody to, to see if they have a better reaction time than any of these volleyball players. I bet you don't. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They don't. They don't. See, money says, can Lexi play safety? <laughs> I mean, she's possible. She's, she's a little possible. she's a little short for safety, but yeah, I'm sure she could. And Ed on the text line, you're exactly right. It's delirious. <laughs> Rico, I've been watching you, Rico. <laughs> I'll be watching you as you watch the volleyball game today, Rico. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, Orton? 